guys, what is up? I am sick as a dog. Turn off the AC so it doesn't interfere with the mic. I am sick as a dog today. Like, uh, I still gotta go to school though. So I grabbed a bang, took some Dayquil. Dayquil, I need more Dayquil. Go grab some. But this is my first time shooting a whole video with the new camera. I'm um, pretty excited. I put a shotgun mic on it so the audio should be uh, significantly better than before. And I'm also shooting a full HD at 60 frames per second. So I'm super excited. Actually today, as well as going to, uh, going to school, we're gonna go to the camera store and get a gimbal for the camera. That way uh, I can hold this easier and not basically be afraid that I'm gonna drop it which I'm kind of afraid of now, honestly, without the gimbal. And then I can mount it too when I'm working on the car, which is pretty cool. But anyway, first, Dayquil. Office Depot in 10... All right, I don't know if they heard the first part, the mic was off. I got like a good like 20 minutes here before class starts and I'm gonna be late anyway, just cause I'm always late, but I'm here. And I love this dash command thing. One of the benefits of staying uh, far away from school is you get to drive in every day. I mean, I do live close too, but the other day I was at the garage. So I was at the garage last night, I was pretty far. But I gotta show you this, I got this on Snapchat. I didn't get it on my camera because I was driving um, couldn't really work the camera but you know, I got this on the snap here let me know where you see the horsepower peak at I see it peak at 362 my buddy saw 389 though hold on there we go Yeah. Pretty excited about that, honestly. Anyway, this is the parking lot at ASU. I'm gonna hop out here. Oh. They got pretty sick parking because they have all of this under like solar panels. Um, believe it or not, all this still fills up and all that over there still fills up. These guys got so many students here. Um, I'm wondering if I have my longboard today. It'd be pretty sick if I do. It's okay if I don't, but let's see. Oh no, locked out. All right, give me a sec. All right, so that class was pretty standard French and Italian stuff. Um, I don't know, hey, I got four hours now before my nighttime class, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna run over and get a UV filter for this camera at the lens store. That way I don't have to keep uh, playing with this lens cover. It's actually kind of annoying. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and get a gimbal so I can hold it better and then put a tripod for it. And then we're gonna play with some car stuff. But first, for the main purpose of this video, I guess I want to show you guys around like dash command. Uh, this is something I'd wanted to put in for a long time. Now my tablet's at like 1%, which is the main, um, the only downside running dash command on your tablets is that it drains your battery quick. So you gotta kind of be, um, I don't know, you gotta charge up your tablet every now and then, probably outside of the car, or leave the app off to charge it up. But you can go into your gauges here, and let me flip around my screen. All right, so basically right here, you got your uh, horsepower, and this is coming from the engine. And you can select anything you want through this list. So, where is that? Oh, you can put on skid pad too. Pretty sick looking screen, honestly. It'll tell you how many lateral Gs you're pulling. Uh, you can put on your zero to 60 times. It'll record your, um, yeah, wow, actually I've never seen that screen before, that's pretty sick. Quarter mile, thousand feet, 60 foot times. Um, let's see, 
diagnostic, so clear any codes and stuff, and tell you if you have any lights, so what's going on, it'll tell you uh, what kind of codes you're throwing. Mm, oh, zero accelerometer. Let's see. Yeah, that's not what I want. Okay, I don't know what that's doing, but anyway. Uh, pitch and roll, tell you what you're slanted basically on a hill. It's good for off-roading, I guess. Uh, wouldn't really be useful here. Race track will plot your fastest way around a track. Um, yeah, we already looked at that. Data grid. Oh, there you go. Intake air temp. This basically tells you everything here. Engine coolant temp, engine RPM, ignition timing advanced for number one cylinder, 15 degrees. And then my personal favorite is my gauges, where I have my horsepower set up, my coolant temp, my torque. Um, this is your map. I'm probably going to switch that out. That's your manifold pressure, uh, engine load percent, and air fuel ratio. So I'm going to keep customizing it so I get what I really like. But honestly, that's a pretty cool setup right there. All right. Let's go get stuff for this camera. And then we're going to take the car, get it washed, and we're going to shoot with the new camera, uh, cleaning the car. Let's go. All right, so best thing about that camera repair store is it happens to be right next to my favorite coffee shop. So as long as well as getting the uh, filter for the lens and this awesome tripod so that I can actually hold the camera and like I'm gonna do here, mount it, put it down without it falling over on me. Hold on, ooh, there we go. Yeah, so along with, oops. <laughs> so along with all of that, I can actually grab my favorite cold brew, which I'm about to do, and I'll be right back. All right, and look at that. Cartel coffee coming in clutch with the uh, black market cold brews. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. Mm, ooh, that's too close. Yeah, it's the only thing that's a little tricky about this lens is it's like, Really good. Alright. Let's see. Fire up our. Uh, turn off the AC so you don't have to hear that and the fire up the dash command. So all I have to do for this literally, press a button here, flip up. Well, I didn't have dash command open, but there you go. Jeez, that's good. Alright, guys, let's go. Go get this thing washed.
Hey, 350. Look at that. Bone stock, except for some ugly chrome rims. That's disgusting. Dude, I don't know what it is about these stupid bikes that keep me up here. Come on. Alright, so now I'm here at the happiest place on earth, other than maybe Disneyland. Now, honestly, this place, I'm happier here than Disneyland for some... Wait for it. I should probably bring my car keys. Oh! Alright. Yeah, Raising Kings. That's where it's at. Try and have my camera without looking too ridiculously odd. But, I mean, here we go. All right. Alright, so the car is clean. Um, that's pretty much it for today, honestly. Like, I'm gonna go to this nighttime class, and believe me when I say it is not fun. It's like three hours um, for this nighttime class. 
uh, 400 level statistics. Yeah. But, you know, forks up. ASU, I love this school. Um, I'll get back with you guys tomorrow. And I'm trying to meet up with my buddy. He's got a, uh, a three, modded uh, 335i. And we're going to take it out and we're going to um, hopefully do a, a photo shoot together. Try and get my other buddy too. He's got an Audi. Uh, I always forget what it is. Uh, it's an S5. I think S, S4 or S5. Yeah. Anyway, one or the other. It's a four-door Audi. Uh, I think it's a 2.7 six-cylinder uh, supercharged. He's got it flash-tuned. Uh, that car is sick, too. That car pulls all-wheel drive. So hopefully we can get all three of them together and do a photo shoot with the new camera. That'd be pretty, pretty dope. Um, I'll see how coming up this week. Just stay tuned for some, uh, some of that. And then uh, my other buddy's actually hopefully going to join too. He does a lot of like car photography as well, and hopefully he can uh, he can get with us and maybe teach me some stuff and uh, we'll shoot him too. He's got a GT Mustang and a Mustang, <laughs> but whatever. It's uh, it's got its Captain America wrap on it. Uh, pretty pretty out there. Like it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty insane. I haven't, I haven't seen anything like it before. So. Hopefully we can get him in there too. All right guys, well, I'm gonna go to this class. Wish me luck. Please like and subscribe to the uh, channel and I'll catch you tomorrow. Honestly, like I might be, I might be like a little bit biased, but damn. That's one good looking car. Let's just end with that right there. Woo. And when you come over here, you got all of like the uh, buildings from like Tempe Town Lake in the background. And then of course like ASU is like the stadiums, I don't know, they're doing their thing. They're doing like all kinds of like light shows up there. As you can tell, my, uh, my night class is over. Oof.